what you need to know about endometriosis. The last time, we posted a slide on this topic but today we wish to post a video on it. Before we start, hope you have subscribed to our YouTube page, Better Nurse? If you haven't, please do it now to help us create more contents, also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Threads and Twitter. Remember to share this video. Endometriosis is a condition where tissue similar to the lining of the womb grows in other places, such as the ovaries and fallopian tubes. This can affect women of any age, including teenagers. It's a long-term condition that can have a significant impact on your life, but there are treatments that can help. Symptoms of endometriosis. The symptoms can vary. Some women are badly affected, while others might not have any noticeable symptoms. Some common symptoms of endometriosis are First pain in your lower tummy or back, pelvic pain, usually worse during your period. Period pain that stops you doing your normal activities. Pain during or after sex. Second pain when peeing or pooing during your period. Feeling sick, constipation, diarrhea, or blood in your pee or poo during your period. Third difficulty getting pregnant. The last but not the least, you may also have heavy periods. You might use lots of pads or tampons, or you may bleed through to your clothes. For some women, endometriosis can have a big impact on their life and may sometimes lead to depression. Causes of endometriosis. The cause of endometriosis is not known. Several theories have been suggested, including Genetics. The condition tends to run in families and affects people of certain ethnic groups more than others. A problem with the immune system, the body's natural defense against illness and infection. Endometrium cells spreading through the body in the bloodstream or lymphatic system, a series of tubes and glands that form part of the immune system. But none of these theories fully explain why endometriosis happens. It's likely the condition is caused by a combination of different factors. You might ask, when do I see a doctor? See a doctor if you have symptoms of this problem, especially if they're having a big impact on your life. It may help to write down your symptoms before seeing a doctor. It can be difficult to diagnose endometriosis because the symptoms can vary considerably, and many other conditions can cause similar symptoms. A doctor will ask about your symptoms and may ask to examine your tummy and vagina. They may recommend treatments if they think you have endometriosis. If these do not help, they might refer you to a specialist called a gynecologist for some further tests, such as an ultrasound scan, MRI or laparoscopy. A laparoscopy is where a surgeon passes a thin tube through a small cut in your tummy so they can see any patches of endometriosis tissue. This is the only way to be certain you have this. Further problems caused by endometriosis. One of the main complications of endometriosis is difficulty getting pregnant or not being able to get pregnant at all, infertility. Surgery to remove endometriosis tissue can help improve your chances of getting pregnant, although there's no guarantee that you'll be able to get pregnant after treatment. Surgery can also sometimes cause further problems, such as infections, bleeding or damage to affected organs. If surgery is recommended for you, talk to your surgeon about the possible risks. Treatments for endometriosis. There's currently no cure for endometriosis, but there are treatments that can help ease the symptoms and they include painkillers such as ibuprofen and paracetamol, hormone medicines and contraceptives, including the combined pill, contraceptive patch, intrauterine system, IUS, and contraceptive implant, and medicines called gonadotrophin-releasing hormone analogs. Surgery to cut away patches of endometriosis tissue. Surgery to remove part or all of the organs affected by endometriosis, such as surgery to remove part of your colon, or your appendix or womb, hysterectomy. Your doctor will discuss the options with you. Sometimes they may suggest not starting treatment immediately, to see if your symptoms improve on their own. Why not share this video to help someone today? Remember to like and subscribe to Better Nurse.